shake it off, shake it off. Shake, to me, it's all about the melody. Shake, shake it off, shake it off. When I write a song, it has to tell an awesome story and have an awesome melody. Shake it off, shake it off. Something you can whistle. Shake it off. When she was a little girl, she used to say the same thing over and over again, and she wouldn't stop. <laughs> oh, she'd say, well, I'm never, ever, ever gonna eat my broccoli. <laughs> we thought it was so adorable. I am never, ever, ever taking a bath forever. You know what means the most to me, though? Every single one of her music friends in the business they all love her just as much as her fans love her. <laughs> She's such a bitch. I'm like a super nerd. I'm like so insecure. Put that girl in a meat dress, she'd be nothing. Sometimes I don't know how to deal with my feelings, but then I write a song about my feelings, you know? Did you see her at the Beatles special after the Grammys? Waiting for the camera to pan on her, to be dancing around like every one of their songs are her favorites in the entire world. You should have seen her sucking up to Paul McCartney after. I met her, Taylor, at the Grammys, you know. Um, she was there and uh, I was there. And uh, she said, uh, you know, hello. And I said, uh, you know, hello. She didn't even know who he was until I told her. She thought that he was Ed Sheeran's grandfather. And um, she said, uh, you're Paul McCartney, aren't you? And I said, uh, yeah, yeah, I am actually. Ed. Ooh. I totally would have dated Paul McCartney. That would have been so awesome. Oh my gosh, but I would probably have to break up with him, you know, because he would be jealous of my music career with the singing and the songwriting. He just wouldn't understand. But then I'd have another song to write. She said, uh, I, I guess you've written a lot of songs. And I said, well, you know, uh, I have, you know, actually uh, written a couple, uh, a couple of, couple of ditties. And uh, she said, yeah, you must have gone out with a lot of women, you know, and broken up with them. And uh, uh, I didn't understand, you know. So I asked her, she said, well, you know, that's how you got your, your songs. You broke up with so many women. And I said, uh, well, no, that's not the way it worked for me, love, you know. I said, uh, you know, I saw her standing there, you know, ooh, happy. But, uh, I mean, it's not like I wrote a song about, you know, I married a peg leg because, uh, you know. Oh my gosh! Ah, this is so awesome. I'm in the studio today with one of the Rolling Stones. Oh, uh, so it's a Beatles look. Whatever! <laughs> oh my gosh, so I've been working on this new song and I think it's pretty awesome. So I was thinking we could do a do. At. Okay. Oh, let's, let's hear it. Okay, okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shake it off, shake, shake, shake it off, shake it off, shake, shake, shake it off, shake it off, yeah, shake, yeah. shake, shake it off. He knows to shake it off. Yeah. Shake, shake, mm -hmm. shake, oh, yeah, it off. I, I shake it off. Oh, yeah, I get it. Shake it off. Shake it off. It's, it's, shake, shake, shake it off. You know, it it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit complex, don't you think? I mean, oh. it should be simpler, something, you know, for us to do, you know, together. So I was thinking, like maybe we should do one of my songs, you know, like uh, yesterday. Oh, I don't know that one. We do a little. So you want to do it with me, the duet? I uh, Shake actually, it off. I uh, I think I left the oven on, so I got to go uh, turn it off. You know, turn it off, turn it off, <laughs> turn, uh... turn, turn it off. <laughs> heartbreak is like heartbreaking. You know, it's like. You have a heart, and then it's broken. It's not awesome. But when you have a genius talent, like songwriting, like I do, you can take the heartbreak and use it as fuel for inspiration for your songs. And that's awesome. Coming up next, 
Paul McCartney. When did he get so fat? <laughs>